Hi friends, very good morning all. How are you? Now today's topic is how to become a full stack developer in Java. If you want to become a full stack developer, you must know these languages. First one is Java. Second one SQL. Third one is front end and then fourth one is framework using these four languages you will become a full stack developer in java language first we will discuss about java language yeah everyone think java is a top topic top language i can't because it has too much of topics i can't understand no for that purpose only i was divided the java language into three sections are one is basic level second one is core java third word is advanced java in basic level you will learn about what are the topics inside the java language i mean java programming if you want to learn any language uh, c c++ sql and then java javascript any language first you have to understand theoretically then only you will go for a practical knowledge correct right in this session we will learn about printing statement identifiers keywords and variables every programming language has an printing statement in java we have an printing statement like system.out.println within brackets so we can write and content within single quotes or double quotes then only it will be printed and ended with semicolon if you are not written any semicolon it will throw an error in java languages there are so many syntax errors i mean compilation errors is there i will teach you later now the printing statement is system.out.println i am saying ln right the picture is given how to write the system.out.println now print ln means the cursor point moves to the next line after printing the cursor point moves to the next line if you are not written only just written system.out.print within brackets see with single quotes or double quotes we write and content it doesn't move to the next line it will stops there only okay that is the difference between print ln and print statement okay. identifiers are the name provided by the programmer for example class class name is a syntax for creating a class class name is the provided by the user or programmer who is creating the program he is known as the programmer creating an identifier we have some rules we must have to follow those rules if you are not follow those rules the compile time error will come i will explain what is compile time error later now you can see rules for naming an identifier if we want to create an identifier name we must and should follow those rules first one in java language all the identifiers must starts with alpha beta if we want to create an identifier it must and should start starts with an alphabet a b c d only it doesn't start with number any special characters and then second point no space is allowed space is not allowed in between the characters of an uh, identifier okay the third one is only underscore is allowed no other special character is allowed only underscore is allowed means uh, no other special characters like um, uh, dollar symbol hash or the rate of symbol star no other special characters is allowed for creating an identifier the fourth one is number can be used in identifier but should not be in first character all we know i already told in first point only uh, identifier name starts with alphabet does not starts with underscore and any special character and numbers also the same point is repeated and we can use uh, those numbers in middle or at last of the identifier name what is keyword keyword is a predefined reserved word provided by the language not only in java language every programming language has its own keywords which is given by the or provided by the by that language only it already understand it by that language only we can't understand those those keywords but we must learn those keywords what and all okay for example if you want to create a java program by using class class is a keyword okay um maybe some of you know uh, public static void main function here 
public static void main function is used to create an java program right up here public also a keyword static also keyword void also keyword a name which is provided by the user is called as identifier a name which is provided by the language is known as keyword now you understand clearly now let's go to the next topic variables variables is a container to store the value or data now i will explain with an example you will easily understand this is a tiffin box let us assume this is a tiffin box and we are having some food in that tiffin box okay tiffin box is a container we are storing some food in that okay like that only variable is a container we are storing data or a value inside of that taking a container or tiffin box is a declaration keeping the food inside that container or tiffin box is nothing but an uh, initialization variable initialization next session we will learn about decision making statements which is nothing but an if if else nested if switch case those topics we will learn with an flow chart and examples if you have any doubts in this video please message me if i did any mistake in this video please let me know and then thank you for watching